That's when you realize you cannot get yourself one kilogram of salmon if you work just one day. You would need two days of work, get yourself one kilogram of salmon. What is up everybody and welcome to a brand new vlog and today to be honest with you just like I do in every single other video we are gonna do something but I still have no idea what are we gonna do. Apparently there's supposed to be snow coming down tonight so if there's enough snow coming down that means we could drift around but I haven't started up my ladder for a very long time because there was no snow and I wasn't driving it so I thought it's a good idea to let her warm up a little bit so that if the snow actually comes we're gonna be able to drive it. Oh look at the ladder it started rusting so fast I don't know why it just randomly started rusting so let's try to get in somehow into the ladder where did i hide the key last time obviously here let's uh put her in neutral and see if she even starts up i would like it to start up though let's uh press the gas we're not gonna pull out the choke press the clutch in so it's easier to start let's hope it starts oh come on Here we go. It's working. The ladder is alive. It's struggling, but I need to pull out the choke a little bit. It was a mission successful starting up the ladder. I'm gonna let her uh, warm up for a little bit and figure out what we're gonna be doing today. Do you have an idea of what we're gonna be doing today? Write down the comment section below because I have no flipping idea. Guys, I'm in the exact same place I was yesterday buying this stylus pen right here for the iPhone. But unfortunately, for some reason, it doesn't work every single time. So I'm gonna go and return and we're gonna see if it is easy to return something that you bought in Russia. So let's go and do it. Here we are coming in. There's a lot of people here, but we're gonna be returning the stylus now. So now they're gonna see if they can return it. But by the Russian law, they will have to do so. So there's actually a law in Russia that states even if you don't have a receipt, you can return an item within a 30 day range. So it's actually a very good law and sometimes they don't want to return it so you call the cops on them and then they return very good this way the system actually works very good so i really admire that if you buy you could always return something if it doesn't work right or you didn't like mission successful got the money returned because they could they were like so what's the problem with it i'm like it only works like it works and then it stops working for some reason it just doesn't work that well so Got to return, got my money back to my card. Now it's time to figure out what the heck are we gonna be doing today? So I still have no idea. People hang out on Burger King, by the way, here, just to chill out. Well, today we're gonna be checking out how the shopping mall looks like during the Christmas slash New Year holidays. Well, it's not really holidays yet, but there's a lot of people that are doing shopping around the place. And there's a lot of them getting ready to buy a lot of presents. So a lot of money is gonna be spent today and the upcoming days for some new year gifts because like i told you before we don't really celebrate christmas we celebrate new year that's why we give gifts at new year not christmas so you could see there is tons and tons of people walking around even some with some christmas hats walking around the place very nice let's check out what stores there are here that we could check out i'm not sure if i would want to check out some clothes stores because i'm not a big fan of it we're going to be checking out a few electronics store to see what is on sale there. And we'll keep in mind that an average salary in Moscow is around 60,000 rubles, which is around like $600. So how long do you have to save up to buy something? Or maybe you don't have to save up at all. So the first place I'm going to be checking out is a store called M Video, which I was in yesterday. But I want to see the prices on everything to see if somebody could afford anything like that. So here's the store M Video. Let's check out what they got for sale inside. Boom, magic. Oh, look at this uh, wizardry phone for $1,400. Wow, I actually never held one of phones like this before, but it's actually pretty cool. It really be, if the camera is good, it's actually a good phone because you could record stuff. And then when you want to edit it, you open it up I still have no idea how. Oh, here we go. This is really cool. It's a very big screen that you could do a lot of stuff in. Very flipping cool. What absolutely amazes me in the store is I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be getting 
uh, some games for like Xbox One and stuff like that for their kids. But look at the prices. It's like $46 for a game, $50 for a game. There's even a Dead Island game for $65. This is absolutely crazy prices. Oh my God. There's even one, a Star Wars game for $110. Could you imagine this? 110 bucks for a Star Wars game. Maybe I don't know something, but I would never spend $110 on a game, except if it is GTA 6. What's the point? And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people do spend that much money, but it is what it is. I wouldn't spend it. I know that there might not be a lot of people who play games and stuff like that that are watching me right now. Yeah, it's crazy with the prices of games. Tell me, is games in your country the same price? And also, I could see that there's 38% of people subscribed to their channel and the rest watch without being subscribed. So I'd really appreciate if you could guys press the subscribe button and the like button because, I don't know, might even help me grow their channel a little bit. Obviously, only if you enjoy the vlog. Imagine this, guys, right? A good wage in Moscow is around like $1,000. And the thing is, I was kind of thinking, imagine a person earning $1,000 in Moscow, and then they go over to get themselves a game for $110. That's literally 10% of their wage after working for the whole month for one game. That is ridiculously crazy. And you know, a lot of people say like, oh yeah, Russia is perfect and stuff like that. I like a lot of things about Russia, but at the same time, I don't like a lot of things. So I try my best not to fake anything because gotta be real, gotta be real. You know, the wages suck here. And only if you're like an IT specialist or something like that, you'd be walking around earning a lot of money. Or maybe if you have a profitable business in Moscow or Russia, you'd be fine as well. But rather than that, I don't know, it's crazy. Even with the grocery prices, they seem very cheap for you, but they're not for Russians because the wages are way, way lower than in most of your countries that are watching me from. Nearly got run over by that train. I think a good way to compare the prices and to see if stuff is actually that cheap is to actually walk into the Globus hypermarket and see how much everything costs, taking in consideration that average salary is around like $600 slash $1,000. So let's go inside and have a look. Coming in, we're greeted with some Christmas vibes. Let's see what's going on here you could actually even buy yourself some real trees it looks like very flipping cool anyways let's see how much everything is obviously you got your part of the store where you could buy your kettles and stuff like that for around 16 dollars 12 dollars not that bad i mean considering it's a kettle and stuff like that but what interests us the most is actually how much like the meat costs the potatoes and you know what's funny for some reason there's been a very high demand for eggs i think so but the egg prices have risen substantially and it is unbelievable like if i find an article i will definitely put it in this video but the egg prices have risen don't know what's going on with that in a bid to crack down on the rising egg prices gripping the nation russia's economy ministry has unveiled a groundbreaking strategy now. A six-month exemption on duties for 1.2 billion egg imports aims to stabilize the market and alleviate the strain on consumers. As some Moscow supermarkets grapple with empty shelves and residents notice a significant uptick in prices, the nation watches closely. Take a look at this next report for more. And you know that everybody is preparing for New Year because of the amount of alcohol all over the place. Look at that, just rows and rows of different sorts of alcohol all over the place, literally vodka, whiskey, all over the place. Like I have not seen that much alcohol in one place, like literally, and I'm not even in the alcohol aisle. Like they're selling coffee here and a bit of vodka. How Russian is that? But for a one liter bottle of vodka called Arhangelska, you get to pay seven bucks basically is that good i don't know as you guys know i'm not a big drinker myself so i have 
no idea what is going on with the prices and everything is crazy around here because there's too many people here way too many people oh my god guys the alcohol it is just not ending finally i found some drinks because i was thirsty what am i gonna have i'm not gonna have dr pepper last time i got it here tasted a bit off I don't know what's going on with it so there's a bunch of desserts here like cakes and stuff like that the cakes are around like five dollars a piece you could see it's with a bit of fresh fruits on it do i like that type of stuff nope give me a chocolate one I like that but yes and there's a bakery in the back where they actually bake stuff maybe i've picked the wrong time but bre this bread is 19 cents this bread is 57, 37. Guys, I gotta be honest with you. The amount of people here is crazy. I, ca I cannot get through and I completely forgot it's a Friday evening as well. So no surprise that there's tons of people around the place. So let's see what sort of cheese they got. They got some Russian cheese, some Argentinian, some Swiss cheese. Surprisingly enough, I'd be wondering where are they getting this stuff? Like right here. There's a Gruyere cheese. You could see it right there from Switzerland. I, uh, I actually like that cheese. That's one of my favorite cheeses. Not this brand, but it's very tasty. If you guys never tried Gruyere, you should try it. It's some good stuff. You could see some uh, salami is getting cut in the background, just like we get in Pericrostic with Evelina. Now, to be honest with you, I really want to find the eggs now because I've read on the news, well, not on the news, on the meme pages that apparently it's very expensive. But at the same time, I want to show you some, uh, I don't know, what's it called? It's not salami. It's like, I don't even know. I don't know what to call it. But anyways, let me show it to you. You see this thing of salami or whatever you want to call it. Somebody in the comment section below tell me. Like, look, this little piece of 500 grams is uh basically like four dollars right and this one is uh four dollars thirty cents but that is very expensive considering we actually need to do a bit of calculation we need to calculate how much a person average a russian person makes so right now we're gonna do that in this huge store so i took 600 divided it by 26 and we got 23 dollars a day an average person makes in russia so considering that uh, a piece of sausage I, uh, you could call it a sausage or a salami or whatever, it costs five bucks. You would kind of imagine how the situation isn't at its best. You could see right here, that's $5.60 right there. That is not even the best salami. It's like normal, ordinary salami as well. And you could see all the prices are pretty much the same. A lot of you guys from the States say, oh, wow, your prices are so great. I would like to move. You would like to move if you guys are going to be earning money from the States and living here, but not earning money in Russia and living here doing a, uh, you know, an ordinary job. And what I mean by an ordinary job is just like, you know, uh, working in the shop, being a mechanic, uh, driving a taxi, you know, all the, all the usual type of work. You know, I'm not talking about owning a huge financial business being the wolf of wall street just being an ordinary middle class citizen in moscow and i'm talking about moscow you wouldn't imagine what happens in the region just thought um, i'd speak out about it because it feels like some people are thinking that i'm some sort of a propaganda channel but i've never really touched on this uh, point so i thought it's a good idea to do it now now where the heck are the eggs at so you got a bunch of fish here and uh, those prices, you could basically think about it as when you see like 68, you could think of it as 68 cents, but that is for 68 cents for 100 gram. Can't really translate, well, I could translate that one for 92, which is a sea bass. So for a kilogram, you'll have to pay around nearly $10, which is in general half a day of your salary. So now imagine the type of people who buys black caviar for 7,469 rubles. That's around like $75. So a lot of people buy red caviar because it is a, a bit more better in price. As you could see by those small jars 
with 90 grams for like six dollars and uh, 15 dollars for a bigger jar right there so what I was talking about was this salmon right here which is basically around uh, three dollars for a hundred grams so if you would think about it right a um, a kilogram of this stuff will cost you around $35 this one and $30 this one well that's when you realize you cannot get yourself one kilogram of salmon if you work just one day you would need two days of work get yourself one kilogram of salmon also you got yourself some uh, beef right here the beef is around five dollars for the breast port which is basically a lot of fat in it not a big fan of fat but uh, you could see the prices and all of this is for a kilogram right here so a kilogram of beef is uh what is the highest price around like ten dollars oh no look at this you could find a steak right a steak for 19 dollars which is uh, a day's salary right here but obviously they're not selling it by kilogram they're selling it by grams so you could buy yourself a steak for three dollars four dollars all the good stuff holy smokes guys look at this salami right here this is huge it does look nasty though not a big fan of this stuff but yeah there's a lot of sausages and salami being sold here see right here what do you call this um i even forgot like ham this is kind of like a ham right here big chunk of ham but a big thing of ham a kilogram of ham is seven dollars so i'm guessing a lot of people are probably buying themselves a kilogram of ham rather than a kilogram of salmon or beef well for a bag of potatoes like this it's a two kilogram bag you can get it for one dollar and forty cents that's not that bad that's not that bad you could uh, eat a bit of mashed potatoes of this so a kilogram of bell peppers cost you two dollars and seventy cents that's how it looks like not bad i like a bit of bell pepper myself to be honest with you i'm just strolling around checking everything out so it's uh three dollars twenty cents for a bit of tomatoes like this a kilo of pineapple will cost you two dollars and fifty cents basically that pineapple is green as heck though i don't understand one thing where the heck are the eggs i need to find a bit of eggs to see what the prices are because apparently the prices are critical right now for the eggs it's like unbelievably high oh it says in russian milk and eggs must be somewhere around the corner where are the eggs at we need to find them right now it's mission successful we actually found some eggs let's check out the price on those bad boys so let's see we found some eggs it's 15 pieces right here and it costs two dollars and 54 cents you know what that does not look as bad as i saw in the memes but apparently egg prices should rise and this is like decent quality you could also get like a bit worse quality i don't know how to qualify eggs this is one dollar 45 cents for 10 eggs what else do we got here a few eggs right here somebody's trying to walk by and uh dollar 17 for 10 pieces right here so i'm guessing they're a bit worse does anybody even know how to qualify eggs how are they one of them is more expensive and one of them is not you know what i need to make a thumbnail with the eggs maybe i don't know should i making an egg thumbnail This guy behind me probably thinks I'm crazy because I was just taking pictures with a packet of eggs, but who cares? You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta look crazy sometimes walking around Moscow. But you know what? I'm walking here. Anyways, I gotta pay for the can that I started drinking of energy drinks in the store and I basically nearly finished it, but I'm not gonna be leaving it anywhere. So I gotta pay for it, but the queues are huge. I need to find one of those uh, automatic ones that I could pay myself for. Now, since we've done the important part of the video is talking about the salaries and the cost of that stuff, you guys are gonna probably say, well, you know, you could buy things, you know, you don't have to buy salmon all the time at the same time. But I'm gonna tell you one thing, guys. Don't forget, you gotta pay the house bill. You gotta pay rent for the apartment. If you don't own the apartment, 
you also got to spend money on getting yourself to work what are you left with nothing so that's the harsh reality of living in russia that probably answers a lot of questions about living in russia okay evelina said she's in mag now we're gonna find the kids section somehow because i have absolutely no idea where that is i have found evelina in the kids section what is she doing look at her buying stuff in the kids section she's a little kid look at that jacket looking good looking good got some good news guys it seems like it started snowing and me and evelina came to pericrostak to get a bit of uh stuff to cook at home but look at this we might even go drifting today but our number one goal for today is for me to edit two videos uh, one of them is today's video, just at least a little bit until this point right now so that I could actually um, have a bit more free time tomorrow and also do the merch, hopefully finish up the merch today and then go out drifting. So hopefully we get all the goals achieved today. Well, I have arrived back home now. It's time to edit yesterday's video and hopefully I'm going to get it done quick because I got no time for anything right now and I'm really running out of time and time is just going too fast. So while I was editing the video, Evelina has cooked me a very beautiful dinner. Check this out. Look at what Evelina made me. Some chicken, I don't know, burger you could call it, I don't know. Some pasta and a salad with chilies and caramelized onion. Oh, bon appetit to whoever's eating right now. Right, Ponchuk? Right, right. Well, oh, guys, it is 12 at night right now. I completely forgot. I need to close the chickens and I need to get the dog inside my grandparents' house for the night so she keeps warm. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So let's get ready, get strapped, and walk in where hopefully there's no ghosts or aliens who are going to abduct me and plant something into my butt. I would not like that. Anyways, let's go into the cold Russian winter and see if there's even any snow outside. Oh, it honestly looks like we are not going to be drifting today because snow did not fall down at all whatsoever. Like there's no snow. I mean, just a little bit, but not enough to go. Anyways, let's go close the dog and close the chickens. Guys, if you ask me how creepy this is on the creepiness level, I'll tell you 100%. Flippin' neck, this looks like something out of a flippin' horror movie. Flippin' neck. Oh my god, and I'm also falling through snow. Wasn't a good idea to wear uh, those shoes here. because Everything is melting. Oh my god. I watched too many horror movies to do this at night time. Maybe talking to you guys will actually make me feel a bit better. A lot of you might be saying, Ivan, are you out of your mind walking here right now? This is what, uh, when people die during the horror movies? Yes, this is crazy, but I can't leave the chickens to freeze. So you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, you know? Can't leave out the chickens. Oh my God, let's do it guys. We're nearly over to the chickens. Does this get even creepier or what? Or is it just me? Where are the chickens? Oh, good night chickens, gotta close you off. There we go. Come on chickens, be warm there. Let's flip and go. Well, we made it so far. I hope uh, we don't get abducted by aliens on the way back. Because uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not the biggest fan of getting abducted by the aliens. Well, once again, guys, I'm a bit naked, but I got some good news for you. Right now it's 3.35 a.m. And uh, we've been doing a lot of work on the merch. And um, soon enough, guys, you're going to see it soon enough. Trust me. Anyways, I wasn't abducted by aliens. I, I don't remember the way back though, but hopefully I wasn't. But if you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more videos like this, comment. 
tell me if you do want to and also subscribe because a lot of you guys are still not subscribed to the channel so i would really appreciate if you could do it and press the like button see you later my friends